Interesting. Okay, so they transferred occupation of Scotland to Gaul, so I don't know if they're planning to hand Gaul over. Oh yeah, we still have terrible stability, don't we? Yeah. But they're keeping the Irish provinces for themselves, so. <clears throat> I guess if we occupy all of Gaul and the war is not over yet, we'll go retake our British holdings. Should probably station at least a token army there. Let's see, how big is their... 14, 8, a few 1 stacks. Yeah, we'll probably eventually need to station like 32,000 troops there just to keep the, the Britons in line. Teutons. It's funny that Paris is like not at all even an important city in this timeline. put the capital at Auvergne, um, specifically because uh, the, na the name of the Auvergne region comes from the Arverni tribe of, of the Gauls, who actually were um, one of the main tr tribes that organized the resistance against Rome during Caesar's Gaulish Wars, so that, that seemed appropriate. Lyon would have also been an okay choice um, because that that name comes from Lugdunon, which was the um, was a major religious center where the Gauls worshipped the god Lug, who also appears in uh, in uh, Gaelic and Brythonic mythology as well. He's kind of a, a common god of the Celts. Um, very cool. Celtic god, actually. He was, he, I believe he started out as a mortal, but then he proved that he could outdo all of the other Celtic gods at whatever their specific thing was, so they let him become a god. So if you think about it, in terms of Greek mythology, if he was, like, a better blacksmith than Hephaestus and a better warrior than Ares, that's basically the, uh, the story of Lu. It was... Master of master of all trades and jack of none. I guess he would be considered like an overpowered Mary Sue fanfic character if somebody tried to uh, praise him today. Okay, just a just a spot of Celtic mythology while we conquer Gaul. Seems appropriate enough to me. I don't even know why I'm keeping my armies in 16 stacks when we've effectively crushed all resistance at this point. I could be running around with one stacks if I wanted to. Oh man, one of our generals died. Accommodation with the natives. Yeah, they're really going for, like, an absolute victory here, it seems like. Uh, let's go save Ireland. Station an army in Normandy. We'll have our own Norman invasion. What's Rome up to lately? Oh! Conquering Carthage. Oh, no, wait, that's Iberia. Iberia is conquering Carthage. And Ghana is simultaneously conquering Iberia. Is that two different wars? Okay, so Iberian Crusade against Carthage. They're at war with Iberia and Rome. So Rome is allied with them, and they're fighting Carthage. So it's Carthage and Ghana versus Iberia and Rome. Interesting. Um, but Iper Iberia actually occupied Carthage, so... Or the location of the city of Carthage. There we go. 
Uh, let's see. So Lothringen, Sungau, Luxembourg, Rethel, Hainaut, Artois, Calais, and Flandern go to the Teutons. We get some money um, and some prestige. Teutons now owe us five favors. Let's see. We can actually increase their trust quite a bit. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's bring our fleet home. Got another colony. Has become self-sustaining. All right. So the Teutons have conquered Frisia, more or less, or at least parts of the Frisian coast that they did not previously own. I don't know if any of those Slavic rebellions succeeded or not. It doesn't look like they did. They're taking advantage of Siberian frontiers, though, that's for sure. Did Greece win a war at some point here recently? Babylon's almost gone. They're down to just, like, a tiny core area around Baghdad. Arabia's spreading into the Horn of Africa. Did Congo finally get their frontiers? Yes! So all nations have now unlocked Siberian frontiers, it seems like. Mongols have uh, taken to prettying up their borders a little bit. Hopefully the Turks will follow suit now that the map has kind of filled in. Tamil kings down here doing pretty well. There's still some uncolonized areas in, like, the Burmese region. And... Yeah. Oh, let's go back up to speed five. Need of assimilation. You don't want to go to war with the Finns, yes. Boundary dispute. Uh, we would get a claim on Hoya, which I think is owned by the Teutons. Yeah, we'll settle the issue. Wasting admin power has been a tradition of ours for many years now. All right. What is our force looking like? We could actually build another army. I think we'll build them in Scotland. Merchants suffering. They should have stayed at home. Those merchants. Every time we try to tell them. Don't make things harder on yourselves. Let's try to surround this Aztec exclave here. Why not? We want to make them mad at us. We want them to come after us. Another self-sustaining colony somewhere up here. Let's see. Oh, that's a that's a wasteland. Can't do anything with that. Were we colonizing this at one point? Yeah, we were. Don't go there. Go here. Many jobs of a soldier. Yeah, well, we can take that cost. Let's see. Probably got about ten more minutes here today. We've forgotten that the Finns insulted us. 
Was that a province we had guys in? No, it's not. So we're going to have to send someone there. Curious to watch this Carthaginian War. Looks like Iberia has forced out most of the armies that were occupying their south. So yeah, Carthage might just end up getting wrecked. It's a shame they didn't get wrecked by Rome. Because that would have been historically appropriate. Yeah, and grateful natives, we know. I don't know why we keep gaining and then losing the trade dispute <laughs> CB against the Turks. Um, oh wow! Are the uh, is the Indus? So the Turks. They're attacking Indus in the second Turkish conquest of Indus, but they're at war with. Uh, Khmer and the Tamil Kings. So, the Khmer and the two halves of India have united in alliance, it would seem. And Khmer, I'm thinking, is one of the stronger nations on the planet right now. They at least look like they are. That's so us, the Turks, Rome, and then the Aztecs. Um, the Turks actually have close to our development. They're just way behind in tech. So, and then do the... They don't have any allies, or at least no allies that they've called in. They have several tributary states, and they are allied with China, strangely enough, but China has not gotten involved in this war, it seems like. Yeah. All right, colonial disaster. We will spare no effort. Colonial or orders are going to be so freaking ugly. Oh, there we go. Rome occupied one Carthaginian province. Good for them. Plus one to historicalness. Uh, we'll lose. We'll lose manpower. We've got so much manpower. So the Slavs might kind of make a comeback, even though they've lost land to multiple outside powers. They're uh, doing a pretty good job of filling filling in an empty space here. Not a salt crisis. Early modern administration, there we go. States and territories, so we want this to be a state. We want this to be a state. We want this to be a state. Cool. We're gonna have to spend loads of admin power now. Also, the clergy and the nobles want land, which I'm going to hand out aesthetically rather than suboptimally, much to this may of people in the comments. All right. We're like, how many techs behind on admin? We're at least one tech behind. Regulation of the medical profession. We'll take the admin power. Um, okay, Carthaginian peasants and Carthaginian noble rebels are now getting involved in this dog pile. Our conquistador is dead, that's okay. Wasn't much a fan of him anyway. Did Egypt retake territory? Yeah, because Arabia owned Cairo at some point, didn't they? So they're going to have to reconvert some of their old provinces back to Egyptian because they were in the process of being converted to Sunni, but uh, 
We have an almost accurate religion map now. There's still like some weird little default religion provinces that haven't been colonized yet. But, uh... Yeah, it's getting there, at least. Oh, look at that! Iberia got to write their name across the wasteland. So Carthage has been cut down to size a little bit. I did not expect Iberia to do this well. They probably have one of the weaker idea sets. Oh, look! Rome is finally colonizing the islands. They colonized the Balearic Islands. They're colonizing Sardinia. About time. Royal marriage from the Finns. Why not? We're not going to kill you just yet. Colonial governor died. So let's bring in... Mr. Trade Efficiency. Making sure the religion wasn't broken. The advisor religion icons are not showing up for some reason, but... I'm not too bothered about it. Um, let's promote this guy to a level 4. Yeah, we'll lose some more manpower. We never use it for anything, I mean. I have about four more minutes here. Before I will have to jump back into the many, many freelance assignments I have right now. So we're, we're closely monitoring the race for the Tarim Basin between, between the Slavs, Rome, and... Dark Horse Candidate Greek Bulgaria. Uh, yeah, pay off. Who are we paying off? Who are these guys? The nobles want recompensation. Screw you, you don't get anything. Yeah, so Iberia is going to like blob into Africa now. <laughs> This is, uh, this is getting very interesting. Are these... Oh, these are Babylonians. So, Arabia... is currently defending against the Babylonian reconquest. <laughs> Look at Babylon. That, that takes some balls. See, should we be attacking yet? No, we're even close. Monthly war exhaustion is going to go down. And we are almost done coring everything. Oh, Babylon does have some more land up here. So they're not as screwed as I thought they were. It's still pretty impressive that they're able to beat Arabia, though. Arabia seemed like it was going to be the dominant power in the region, but now I'm not sure. This event seems like it's popping up way too often. <laughs>